If I held it like this, you think Clyde would take it from me? Oh, Clyde! I'm a professional. <laughs> Let's go have some fun. Okay, so currently we have a camel in my backyard. Has Clyde ever been to the river before, Gary? Oh, yeah. <laughs> is this... <laughs> He's such a ham. How old is he, Gary? 17, be 18 in April. Where did you get him from again? Hey, Clyde. 17. I got him at an auction in Macon, Missouri. Okay. When he was six weeks old. Uh, so right now I'm walking a camel in my backyard. This is Clyde the camel. And we're gonna go over fun facts with Clyde the camel. Now, take a look actually at his lips are really interesting. Inside their mouth, they have a very, very thick skin and that allows them to eat rough vegetation found of course in the desert. Now they could weigh an adult camel up to 16, 1700 pounds. Last time I had him on the scales, he was 1960. What type of scale do you use? A truck scale. A truck scale? So Clyde has thick, bushy eyebrows, similar to mine, and he also has these eyelashes, which will help protect him from the desert sand. Let's also talk, we have to, let's talk about Clyde's toe. The camel toe, if you take a look, <laughs> they don't have hooves, actually a thick, leather pad that they'll use and it helps them walk on the sand so they don't sink in the sand and also um, so that it doesn't burn their feet in the desert heat. The Clyde stands at seven feet, 11 inches. So Clyde's hump, contrary to popular belief, it of course is not filled with water but with fat. And the interesting fact is that baby camels are born without a hump. They don't develop that until they uh, start eating solid food. Look at them, I put on some cologne. They can go over a hundred miles in the hot desert heat without water, but uh, when they do reach a water source, they can drink a lot, up to 20 to 30 gallons. So there are two different types of camels. We have the dromedary camels, like Clyde, which have one hump, and then we have the Bactrian camels from Asia that have two humps. Now, historically, they would be found in North Africa, the Middle East, and Asia, but they have been domesticated, Clyde and his ancestors, for over 3,500 years, of course, pack animals. And in some cultures, you're judged by your wealth, by the number of camels you have. Are you ready for a fun fact? You ready, Gary? Did you know that they can actually start a fire with a camel's poop? Kush pride. What? Kush. Are you serious? Watch how he folds up. What? Oh my gosh! So right now I feel like I'm in a scene in Bethlehem about to greet baby Jesus. There's our neighbors. I cannot wait to see what the neighbors think. Is that a camel? Camel? <laughs> the wild. Camels eat a variety of different vegetations, but in captivity, Clyde is a uh, profound love for peppermint. What's it doing? He's chewing with his mouth closed, though. <laughs> I can imagine his, his breath smells good now, though, you know? What is this? <laughs> Coolest thing about Clyde, his lips, they move individually. <laughs> Look at this! Love it. They take it. Look. <laughs> Next time you complain that I'm a noisy eater. Look at him. 